Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Christina and I have my nephew Landon with me today. Hi guys. Landon, how old are you? 15. And what is uh, one of your specialty sports that you do? What are you famous for, sports-wise? Sports? Fishing. <laughs> is that a sport? <laughs> it is a sport. Fishing is a sport. Okay. So, Landon is a phenomenal fisherman. He actually has a very successful YouTube channel. What is the name of your YouTube channel? Outdoor living. Outdoor living. He didn't want to give it a plug, but I told him he should give it a plug. Um, but Landon is also an amazing cook. He's 15 years old. Specialty really is cooking fish. In what ways do you like to cook your fish, Landon? I cook it like anything, like in the oven or in the pan or in, or in like the air fryer, anything really. Panko crusted, grilled, mm -hmm. seared, anything. anything. He's awesome. He's, he really is, besides me, he's the family cook. But today... Uh, it's family game night tonight at my house, and Landon's going to be helping me make a pear crisp. It's what we're going to be having for dinner tonight. And actually, this is a plant-based dessert. We're going to use plant-based butter in it. Um, a lot of their entire family eats plant-based, and I'm amazed at how many recipes can be altered to become plant-based. So Landon already has our pear crisp started, and we're going to finish slicing the, the pears with what we call a quick slice. Some of you might already have this, but... Um, Food prepping takes 65% of our time in the kitchen, so just a few key products allow us to really dramatically reduce that amount of time. Maybe um, sometimes we look at recipes and it requires a lot of slicing or chopping and you skip it because of that. Well, if you have just a couple of great tools, then those recipes are no longer intimidating. So this quick slice will hold avocados or um, olives, mushrooms, strawberries, grapes, anything that you want to cut into nice, even slices. And this has a very sharp uh, V-shaped design and serrated blades that will glide right through whatever you're slicing. So Landon, we're using three big pears today. He's already sliced uh, three halves, so he's gonna go ahead and do the other halves in front of you. And I'm gonna kinda zoom in so that you can see maybe what it's doing. Um, so he's gonna put that pear half right on top and then just watch your hands so they can, I want them to be able to see what you're doing. And then he's gonna push right down through the pear, kinda rock it, and then he can just dump it right onto the board. So just hold the whole thing and just kinda dump it right onto your cutting board. And then this pear has now been perfectly sliced. So he's going to add these to our big stainless steel mixing bowl that we already have started. So I'm going to let you keep going with your pears. I'm going to grab a towel real quick and rinse my hands. And this recipe, we're actually going to be baking in uh, one of our brand new enameled cast iron bakers. Let's see if we can see. That's pretty darn cool. I'm going to zoom back out. It makes it just so much faster. It's not letting me zoom out because my fingers are a little bit wet. There we go. All right. So our enameled cast iron bakers came out not too long ago and they come in this beautiful gray. They come pre-seasoned. They have a beautiful enamel coating on the inside which allows us to reduce the amount of oils that we need and butter that we need if we want to use this right on the cooktop for searing your meats. We'll use it today for baking and later I'll use another one to bake the chicken that we're going to add to our um, pasta vegetable um, main dish for those of them who want to have some protein with their dinner. So this is the two quart enameled baker, but we also carry it in a one quart, this little guy, but this would not be enough for our family. So we're not using the small one tonight. This would be wonderful for dips and, and things like that. We then just came out with a really fun spring color and it's going to be in this blue. I love it. So again, this is the two quart enameled baker in the new turquoise blue color. All right, so Landon, you've got your pears in there? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to take that bowl and I'm going to hold it up to the camera and show them what it looks like so far. And you can just see. So we've got some um, pomegranate juice in here right now, some cinnamon, some sugar, and a little bit of orange zest. We're going to add more orange zest to it, and Landon's going to do that right now. So he's already started it. We've got our zester right here. And... When you zest a piece of fruit, it's really, you don't want to just make sure that the camera can see a little bit. So I'm trying with my sweetie, we're recording. Um, when you zest fruit, you only want to zest the exterior of the fruit, the bright orange or the bright yellow if it's a lemon or a lime. The white part is really pithy. So the zester that we carry is just deep enough to only take off that bright tart exterior and it adds a ton of flavor. I always say if a recipe calls for orange or lemon zest, don't skip it. The Test Kitchen tried that recipe using 
zest and no zest, and they found it to have far greater flavor by adding the zest. And a zester is a product in our kitchen that we really can't fake. It's very different than a cheese grater. Cheese graters will most likely dig a little too deep into the fruit. So I'm gonna show you our zester. And it even comes with a protective sleeve, but it has just a really, really fine grate. You can see that some of the orange zest is still on the bottom of it, uh, but it has a protective cover so that when you store it, everything's protected. But this is our zester. So Len is going to give this a stir, just dig in and stir it really good, and then he's going to go ahead and just pour it into the two-quart enameled baker. We have the oven preheated to 425 degrees, and it will cook in just about 20 minutes, 20 to 22 minutes, it says. Perfect. Good. And that can just go to the side, and then we can just kind of spread that around in there, Landon, so kind of even that out. And then we've got an oat topping. So this has... Um, rolled oats, we've got some flour, cinnamon nutmeg, and then four tablespoons of we use the plant-based butter. And we just cut the butter in with a fork, you can use a pastry blender. But Landon's gonna go ahead and just sprinkle the oat topping right over the top. The oven, just watch your back bed to the camera. So the, um, the oven is already preheated. We'll pop it in the oven and then it can cool while Landon helps me make dinner. So again, this is a pear crisp. We're highlighting our two quart enamel bakers and our cast iron is meant to be passed down from generation to generation. So you wanna use it and love it. And I think like if your grandma's had cast iron, they always come with really great memories and we're able to do that now. It's a lifetime warranty, whether it's our traditional cast iron uh, skillets or our enamel cast iron. But remember, cast iron is safe on the cooktop, it's safe in the oven, and for sure our unglazed cast iron bakers are also good on the barbecue. So they are very, very versatile, allowing you to sear meats on the cooktop and then add uh, whatever you might want to add, cooked pastas or veggies or, or sauces, and then move it to the oven and finish baking. So it allows you to make one pot meals, but the, the heat retention is spectacular, the heat conduction is spectacular, and then these both are traditional cast iron skillets and our enameled cast iron skillets come pre-seasoned, so cleanup is a cinch. Landon, thank you for helping your aunt. I don't think your head's even in the camera because he's like eight feet tall. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.